The third and final season of Star Trek Picard has accomplished a remarkable feat, managing to please the majority of general audiences, critics, and fans. Though Season 3 incorporates a few elements and references from previous installments, it largely stands alone as a self-contained narrative, making it unnecessary to watch the first two seasons to understand the story. In what is sure to be the last collective on-screen appearance from these legends of Trek, Picard Season 3 had a clear mission, reunite the iconic crew for one final adventure, paying homage to the Next Generation cast, while providing a long-awaited, satisfying send-off for Jean-Luc Picard. Additionally, the season accomplished its secondary objective of introducing compelling characters and storylines paving the way for future Star Trek projects. In this video, I'd like to discuss why I believe Picard Season 3 may be the most important season of television in an entire generation. Put simply, what showrunner Terry Metalis has accomplished with Picard Season 3 should not be overlooked by fans of science fiction and fantasy alike. This season stands as one of the finest installments in the Star Trek franchise and will undoubtedly be celebrated by fans for years to come. Hollywood studios looking to capitalize on the popularity of treasured franchises by incorporating legacy characters and laying the groundwork for new heroes and future projects would do well to examine the final season of Picard closely. The key to success may seem simple, but it remains elusive for many. Give fans what they want and they will eagerly offer their support and patronage. All too often, studios and creators rely on the existing fame of an intellectual property while disregarding the aspects that truly matter to fans. Showrunners and filmmakers often see an opportunity to reshape the property according to their own vision or feel compelled to reinvent the wheel, attempting to fix the franchise by modernizing it based on contemporary cultural or political trends. This approach can cause those responsible for cherished properties to lose sight of their crucial role as guardians of the legendarium. The consequence of this approach is often the marginalization or even deconstruction of cherished legacy characters due to concerns that they might overshadow the new characters set to inherit the mantle. This was the case in the first two seasons of the series as many felt that Jean-Luc Picard was not afforded the respect he deserved. Season 3 of Picard endeavors to rectify this error. Rather than treating each Next Generation cast member as a mere exhibit, Terry Metalis made a conscious effort to develop each character in a manner that reflects their natural progression over the years since they were last seen, ensuring their core essence remained intact. Every legacy character plays a meaningful role in the unfolding narrative, and none were sidelined to accommodate the introduction of new characters, who were seamlessly integrated into the story and given pivotal roles thanks to skillful writing. Season 3 also demonstrates a thoughtful and careful use of nostalgic elements, ensuring that each callback serves the unfolding narrative, rather than functioning merely as a hollow memberberry. Through this approach, many beloved artifacts from previous iterations of the franchise are reintroduced with purpose and substance, enriching the story and fostering deeper connections with the audience. This respectful utilization of nostalgia not only pays homage to the rich Star Trek legacy, but also enhances the viewer's experience, as cherished memories from earlier series are woven seamlessly into the narrative fabric, evoking a sense of familiarity while simultaneously propelling the story forward. By skillfully integrating these elements, Terry Metalis and his team have managed to strike a perfect balance, engaging longtime fans without relying on empty, sentimental callbacks. As the narrative of Season 3 unfolds with an air of intrigue, it skillfully avoids reaching the level of J.J. Abrams' trademark mystery box storytelling. A pervasive enigma does not necessarily equate to a mystery box narrative. Although the final season of Picard begins with an emphasis on an elaborate conspiracy, it ultimately settles around the themes of family, a father-son relationship, and the family-like bond shared within Starfleet. This tale resonates with audiences on a personal level, as it delves into universal experiences of finding belonging, purpose, and rekindling connections, be they with blood relatives or loyal friends and allies. 
Metalis also showcased remarkable creative mastery in working with the existing narrative from Picard's first two seasons, diligently maintaining cohesion while also skillfully filtering out characters and storylines that did not warrant revisiting. He maintained only the essential story elements from the previous seasons, while he did what he reasonably could to retcon some of the most unpopular events. Metallus' ability to strike the right balance between adhering to the established narrative and refining it to match fan expectations indicates not only his respect for the Star Trek universe, but also his keen understanding of what fans desire. The triumphant third season of Picard serves as a beacon and a guiding light for Hollywood writers aiming to revive a struggling franchise. This season's success demonstrates that it is indeed possible to win back fans by treating legacy characters with the respect they deserve, and by returning to the core tenets and spirit that makes any given fictional universe so beloved. By placing emphasis on what originally drew fans to the franchise, and by carefully preserving the essence of the story and its characters, writers can breathe new life into a floundering IP. Picard Season 3 is a testament to the power of thoughtful storytelling that respects its roots, reminding industry professionals that a deep understanding of the source material and a genuine passion for its legacy are key ingredients for revitalizing any cherished franchise. All that being said, the wild success of Picard's third season cannot repair much of the damage that has been inflicted upon the Star Trek IP in recent years nor does it guarantee that future Star Trek projects will similarly capture the franchise's essence. However, it does offer a glimmer of hope. The efforts put forth by Terry Metalis and his creative team stand as evidence that there are individuals in Hollywood who desire to respect and preserve the inherent fandoms within legacy IPs, and who are dedicated to crafting stories that will appeal to both new and old audiences alike. I am sincerely eager to see what future projects Terry Metalis might undertake, and I hope that Paramount recognizes the value in allowing him to maintain a degree of control over Star Trek's destiny. Should he be entrusted with the reins of the Star Trek universe, Metalis's outstanding work on Picard Season 3 could mark the beginning of a monumental revival for modern science fiction and fantasy TV. Under his guidance, the beloved Star Trek franchise could even experience a renaissance, rekindling the passion of longtime fans and captivating new audiences with fresh, engaging stories that honor the spirit of everything that came before. But I'm curious to know what you think about Picard Season 3. Do you believe that it could mark a turning point, or at least serve as a guide for how Hollywood studios should adapt floundering legacy IPs? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe for more sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.